can I do is to try to be brief. are given 
by equations c equals 0 and g equals 0, then we can uh, construct such an expression. Then we can we can expand the uh, square root of d, and then obtain coefficient c2, c3, and so on. And then the answer is uh, for even n, even by this determinant, if this determinant is 0, then this is a n periodic trajectory, and for odd n, this is the condition. And of course, there are uh, several more or less different or similar proofs of this, and all of them are in this or another way uh, connected with the study of uh, some point on some elliptic curve and to answer the question if such a point is a point of order n or not. Now, uh, it was, uh, it is uh, of course a very interesting problem and it has natural generalizations in the higher dimensions. <coughs> and Monsela theorem has been generalized to higher dimensions uh, in the middle of the 80s by the group of authors and so, for example, in three-dimensional case, we can consider uh, two-dimensional ellipsoid. Two-dimensional ellipsoid. We can consider this as a as a table, and then we can consider uh, somebody playing uh, billiard in this space. And then, instead of one confocal conic we have here, uh, here we have two confocal quadrants which are causing for for the uh, trajectory. So the existence of these two confocal quadrics in a three-dimensional space is a reflection of the existence of two independent integrals in the evolution. So in, one, in uh, this two-dimensional case, we have one additional integral, and uh, geometric interpretation of the existence of such integral is, uh, is caustic, which is conic in, uh, in two-dimensional case, and in higher-dimensional cases, these are quadrics of higher dimensions and the number of quadrics <coughs> is for one. So, that, that, and there is a Ponsilis theorem which says, the generalization Ponsilis theorem says, if one such a periodic trajectory, if one such trajectory with given two ca caustics is periodic, then any other one is also periodic. And naturally arises the question to, to decide whether such a configuration exists or not. And the generalization of such a Cayley's type condition was given by Milan Ramnish and myself uh, five, six years ago in these two papers. And so now we are going to, uh, in the last years, we made some progression in this. And uh, this is connected with the analysis of situation of, I don't know if there is a possibility to draw something on. So we can also no 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 it's not just 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 for for, for a few for a few uh, things even even in the plane even in the plane we can consider such a generalization and we can for example consider an ellipse as a boundary of a, of a billiard table, and then we can add, for example, one more. One more part of the boundary, and then to consider a billiard game uh, with these two boundaries. So, for example, we can consider something like that, to, to go uh, here, then reflects here, then reflects here, and so on. So this is one, one possible generalization. Of course, uh, we can add something else. We can add some other parts of, of boundary like that, and like that. Confocal hyperbola also can be part of the boundary. And now we can analyze the situation. And to try to analyze whether there exists a uh, Ponsele type theory and what should be a uh, case condition for, for this case. And even, even in two-dimensional case, one can see that there are some problems and some, uh, some, some moments should be explained. The first one is 
it's a problem of well, possibly such a problem because it is in a sense that be, be, becomes uh, uh, multivalent the property appears because, for example, if you come to the first moment, <coughs> then reflect, then at that moment we have to decide to reflect from the second conic or to pass through and then to reflect here. So we have some choice here to make. To, to reflect at the first moment or to pass through and then to reflect. Such sort of choice uh, that, that does not exist if we have only one point. So this is one problem. And uh, so we considered such a situation for all arbitrary dimensions. And just to, to give you some hint what, what we did, and then I will pass to, to, to show you a few transparencies, we actually solved this problem of multivalentness uh, on two ways, and we split the possible configuration <laughs> we are going to, 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 to analyze into two. First one are some regions. And the another one we introduced uh, some variation on things, some, some new, new, new game. We call it billiard order game. So what is a region? It can be given some uh, some messy definition, but uh, the idea is the following one. A region is something like that. You have, for example, one conic, the another conic, and for example, a third one. So the region is, for example, this. This is a region, and we we have imagination of this as as a real walls. And particle is here, and it uh, moves according to the billiard law. But when it appears to, to touch the wall, it has to reflect and then goes and so on. So there is no choices. This is a region, and it has to go as a as a particle bounded by the re region made of real walls. And so this is one. And billiard order game is something else. For example, like this. And then we allow the particle to pass through <coughs> the part of the boundary and then go, for example, here, then reflects here, then goes here, then here. But in this case, we have to be very precise to, to, to give a precise uh, recipe for the particle what to do. So this is really an order game. We have to give order. So this means reflect from the first boundary in a sense uh, I, I will explain this from inside and from the second from outside and from the third one from inside or outside and so on so we have to give exact order what should particles do so in these two cases we know to, to develop a Kelly-type condition in all dimensions in all possible uh, collections of of these quadrics. So, and so this and, and now it is a more convex or concave, whatever the word, uh, and still it is invisible. It is invisible. Despite you have this uh, Sinai type. No, no, it's not Sinai type. It is not Sinai type. Sorry, maybe it is Sinai type because of my possibility to draw. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not Sinai type. These are all here conics. Mm -hmm. So these are here. This is. Uh, I want to present you a collection of focal points here. So these are the focal points. But now it is uh, still it is not a uh, positive curve, but yes, 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 yes. But this is conic. It's not just uh, and this counts, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. And this is a uh, this was the result was announced in a recent paper, and now. And now here is a theorem. Sorry, this is a theorem. Uh, so uh, the trajectory of the billiard system within omega and omega is a domain, but it can be a domain in uh, higher dimensions. We, we uh, prescribe caustics, of course, all of these billiard motions, uh, whatever complicated boundary is, uh, uh, have always caustics. 
and they have d minus 1 how thick is the dimension of the space is d. So it is a periodic with exactly n as points of reflection from now, oh, okay, now it's quite technical, but from one part of uh, boundary quadrix and NS points from other part of boundary quadrix, if and only if such an expression, algebraic geometric expression, holds, this is uh, some equality on the Jacobian of the curve, and the curve is hyperelliptic curve composed, I mean, those A1 to AB are. Uh, parameter which describes the confocal family and alpha 1 to alpha d minus 1 are parameters which are responsible for the choice of caustics. And of course you know that on hyperelliptic curve over uh, over one x point you have two real points on I mean two points on hyperelliptic curve and here is the correct choice of this of this point. So this is the theorem and uh, you can believe or not that this theorem is a generalization of here type uh, condition. Of course, here is written in a whole generality, and in, a, in examples you, you will recognize that it looks like like Kelly's condition. And what are these A's? A is Abel Jacobian map. No, A small uh, ramification points. Uh, this I this I I have said. So A1 to A D are parameters which describe uh, uh, confocal family. I mean this x1 square over a1 plus this is a definition of confocal family. And alpha 1 to alpha g minus 1 are uh, numbers which uh, are choice of caustics. We have to choose d minus 1 caustics. So d minus 1 numbers are choice of caustics and d is uh, Definition of confocal pens. Okay, now we consider two domains, and there is a picture below. Uh, they are formally defined here. So omega one is bounded by the ellipsoid omega zero and twofold hyperboloid cubita, cubita, and then beta is between a two and a one, and in, in a way that omega 1 is placed between the branches and then we also consider omega 2 which is a half of this right hand half of this uh, domain omega 1 omega prime and so here is some ranges of elliptic coordinates in this case and then so here is here is here is uh, okay. You see, on the left uh, hand side picture, it is, this is omega one, and omega two is a right hand side part. Of it. So the difference is only in this hyperplane which divides this. So these are two two examples, and then the answers are given here. The answers are here. So in one case, this is, this is the answer, and the other one is that one. So this is about, about uh, billiards within regions, and now billiards of the game. We, we introduced, this is a part of our, of our result, is this uh, uh, definition of notions of, of reflection from outside and reflection from inside. So this is reflection from this is a reflection from outside, as we always believe in this. But the, the, according to our definition, then this is also a reflection from outside, and this is a reflection from inside, and this is also a reflection from inside. And the definition is a ray, a ray reflects from outside at the quadric lambda if the reflection point is a local maximum of the Jacobian coordinate lambda s, and it reflects from inside if the reflection point is local minimum the coordinate one lambda is. Always there is one uh, elliptic coordinate which changes this uh, sign of derivation. And the billiard world game joined with the uh, given set of k quadrics with the signature i1 to ik is the billiard system with trajectories having bounces at those 
values respectively, but such that the reflection at Q beta S is from inside, and then in that case we uh, put down the signature is plus one, and the reflects from outside, and we put that it is signature is minus one. And of course it has always D minus one caustics always from, from this comparable family. And then for example, if those are ellipsoids, then uh, in order we also want that to keep the trajectory finite, and in that case, if it is periodic, there is such a condition on, uh, on signature must help. And for example, this is an example of the other again. It goes from here, then reflects from inside, here reflects from outside, here reflects from inside, here from outside, from inside, from inside here, from inside here, so this is the signature of this of this game here. One minus one, one minus one, 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 one. So this is just to learn the notion the notation. And then a the theorem it says that given the billiard order game with k ellipsoids with the signature this one, its trajectory with caustics is k periodic if and only if such an expression is equal to some expression of this form. Uh, again, it is connected with the hyperbolic curve in Jacobian. Of course, when these, these uh, all k quadrics coincide and all reflections are from inside, then we obtain uh, our previous result of any type condition in the billiard motion size of the uh, just, 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 uh, just a second, one more, one more picture. One more picture and one more comment. So, here we have uh, sort of billiard order game inside two ellipses, and now we can uh, decide whether this is a, a closed or not. Then we have to, according to this story, to, to produce a matrix. Here is the matrix, and if the rank of this matrix is less than 2, then this is a periodic trajectory, and if it is not, then it is not. I think it is all. Just want I want to, to make one more comment. When we when we uh, obtained our results uh, five six years ago for just one uh, quadric is a boundary, <coughs> uh, modern technology of lux pairs, discrete lux pairs of SL and other and so on. But this technology, although it is modern, was not uh, elastic enough to be applied in these uh, generalizations. And in order to get this generalization, we had to, to, to dig deeper into the history of the problem. And we found out that actually, for us now, the ideas of Darbu from the second part of the 19th century are the most, the most uh, efficient and most, most uh, geometric and so on. So this is also an advertisement for the second part of the 19th century in French school. Okay, thank you. case when you have uh, when you have just two such uh, ellipses and the path is closed can one make any statement about the sum of the sides is it uh, independent of where you start the sum of the length yeah the sum of the sides sum of the length of the side yeah right uh, I, I, I don't know now no, no I don't know I can to think about it. Mm -hmm. I understand so, and uh, if we start changing this uh, complex, no, moving them somehow, yeah? What happens to periodic trajectories? They just remain periodic or, or there are some <coughs> uh, Sorry, I don't know. We, we are not allowed to move. Or just change the parameters of this. Uh, yes, but this is a new... Change the foresight. Uh, yes, but then this is a new game. Yes, of course. But what, uh, what happens with the phase uh, portrait? I, I would say that uh, just uh, roughly then from periodic and not periodic, mostly they are not periodic. So, mm -hmm. it is a, it, so this can be a question. For example, let us fix the caustic, let's say in plane, fix uh, one ellipse as a caustic. <coughs> then there is a question, how can we describe those family of those other uh, conics in order to produce periodic trajectories? Of course, most of them, 
are not those who produce periodic trajectories. Mm -hmm. There are estimates like that, for example, <coughs> for a given uh, inner caustic, how many water exist with N or something like that, and vice versa. Given water, how many inner exist with the given N? But normally it is just a discrete set of. Some discrete set of points. Yes, yes, yes. But infinite or finite. Uh, the, 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 this I know. For. Uh, I mean, uh, almost no. Uh, for for uh, fixed inner, for example, caustic, yeah. and the fixed number of bounces, then it is finite. Mm -hmm. 